Hey friends. All right. So today we are going to learn how you can partition rectangles into same size squares. So let's look at this rectangle. How can you partition this rectangle into same size squares? Think about it. How could you? Well, in this lesson, you will learn how to partition a rectangle into same size squares by creating columns and rows. And the most important thing is, is you're gonna need to know the difference. All right, so let's review. The word partition means to separate something into sections. So kind of like parts. So that rectangle could be cut into different sections and different parts, you know, horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. We can also have parts like this. So right now we just partitioned this rectangle into one, two, three, four, five. Now, I could cut those all in half, and now I'm going to have a little bit more. So, something that sometimes we can misunderstand is columns go down. So, you have to think about columns going down. One column two column, three columns. That's good. Columns going down. Kind of like the popcorn are in one column. Rows go across. So these, either this way or that way, left or right. The popcorn is now going in a row. One row, two rows. Think about as you go across rows, you run in a row. There he goes. All right, so you're gonna try to partition this rectangle into three rows and two columns. Rows go across, columns go down. Three rows, one, two. You only need the two lines to get one, two, three rows. And two columns. How do I divide it to get one side and another side? two columns. Well, I only need one line because that way I have one column, two columns. Let's see how many squares we made. Two squares, two squares, and another two squares. Two four, six. Two plus two plus two is six. Six squares, we made a rectangle into six squares. All right, so let's partition this rectangle into two rows and five columns. Two rows going across. Hmm, do I have two rows? I just made one line. One row, two rows. Oh, so I only needed one line to get two rows. Cool. All right, what do we have to do next? That's right, we need to make columns. How many columns do we need to go down? Five, five columns. 
going up and down. One, two, three, four. I only made four lines, but let's see how many columns I made. One, two, three, four, five. I made five columns and two rows. Let's see how many squares we made. So we made one, two, three, four, five. Five squares on the first row. One, two, three, four, five squares on the second row. Five plus five. I know we all know this one. Five plus five is ten. So we made ten squares. All right, we're going to partition another rectangle. And this rectangle is going to be partitioned into three rows. So three rows are going to be, that's right, across. And we're going to make four columns. So let's see how many rows we can make. All right, let's do one line. Let's do a second line. All right, so now we have made it into three rows. One row, two rows, three rows. But remember, all we did was have to cut it twice to get three. All right, we have our rows. We are all good with that. But now we need our four columns. So to get our four columns, all we have to do is remember that they go up and down. And let's start with one. Right now I only have two columns. So I still have some more to go. Now I have one, two, three columns. One more line should give me four. Let's double, count. Let's double check and count. One, two, three, four. Four columns and three rows. So, let's count how many squares we made these. One, two, three, four. So we have four squares in the first row. Let's check the second. One, two, three, four. Four squares in the second. And one, two, three, four. Four squares in the third. So four plus four plus four. Hmm, well I know my doubles fact because we learned these in the beginning of the year. So four plus four is eight. Then I can count on if I really need help. Eight goes in my brain. Nine, 10, 11, 12. So four plus four plus four is 12. I'm gonna double check though and I'm gonna count all my squares. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's see if I'm right. 12. So there are 12 squares, just like I said. So now in this lesson, you've learned how to partition a rectangle into same size squares. And all you had to do was create columns up and down and create rows that go across. Great work today, guys. I'm so proud of you. So after this, you'll have a little bit of an assignment to submit, and it'll be in a link on the next slide. Good luck.